Están Ready Bros Podcast. One. Están Ready Bros. Están Ready Bros. Están Ready Bros. Right here, starting off drinking. God Let's damn, go, bro. bro. Cry for help. Gosh, we're, we're what is that, bro? Oh my god. That's uh that's Holy the shit. fucking uh that's that's oh. uh that's the shell gas right there, bro. That's, uh, the rim, bro. Damn, bro. That's a nice bottle, bro. I'm drunk ready. This is what, what killed like. gente right here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get one? Uh I got some bro right here. Okay, cool. My uh my good uh, uh one of my good customers hooked me up with a bottle, that and that uh, suit bottle, bro. Damn, these bottles yeah. look so They're insane, nice, huh? dude. <clears throat> so that, my other bottle got jacked, bro. My wife took it home and shit, bro. <laughs> Someone that, that Josh didn't Gave it's all good. It's all time. good, bro. Like we we drink enough on this podcast. Oh, you real. guys ready to take one down? Let's go. I watch it. Cause yes, I pedo. One, two, three. Let's go. Mm. Ah, it's ready, perros. This one was good, bro. Yeah. No way. That other one was like, dude. That, was, <sighs> that one was a a mule, and this one was a caballo fino. <laughs> caballo, bro. The. The quarter horse, bro. We just got back from a muck bang. We're full. Fall, ah. fall, fall, fall asleep, bro. Oh, that shit was good. And we're here with our special guest. Jimmy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think I was going to just uh, ask you real quick on as far as like um, uh, techniques for uh, smoking stuff or cooking stuff. Um, we were talking about in the break right now. Uh, we're talking about purists, like a barbecue purists. I was going to say that I got a homie that like. He got a, again, we mentioned, you know, because everybody's all up on him, the pellet grill. This is, you know, obviously the popular one that we were talking about earlier. And he had a knife. He has the butcher paper. He puts it in a, like, an igloo um, ice chest after so it can, like, what sit the there fuck? and mature, I guess. Like a heart? Yeah, so it can we, rest. We got transplant, no, bro. No ice, though. Oh. They, <laughs> so he takes a brisket out of the pellet, out of the pellet smoker. <laughs> And he wraps it up in butcher paper, this special paper that's like brown but has wax what on the it. Fuck? And then he puts it inside the, the the ice chest, which you know to keep the heat in there. And I guess that's a, it's resting. Yeah. Chef, or no, it, like over the heel, he makes his own like he makes his own um, his own like barbecue sauces and stuff. You know, he, he does AC, but then he does this not oh, nice. on the side, but just for the family every yeah. now get together. Oh yeah. So and he's done stuff before, like on a regular Weber gr grill that was like phenomenal. So then that one day he takes this off, and then he cut a layer of the fat off the brisket before that. So that's a flavor, though, right? That's the flavor, yeah. So you're pretty much <clears throat> cutting out the flavor. That is flavor, yeah. Really? So then homeboy takes it out. We're waiting all day. He has you know, family members there. I'm there. Old bo boss is there, whatever. And we take it off. And then he uh, he puts it in the paper. And then he puts it in the igloo. And then he takes it out, like, I don't know, like half hour later. And then he cuts it up. Thank and you. we start eating it with all the sides. And we're just like, I was expecting some shit to, like, you know those sensations where you know you cry and then after you cry you feel so relieved, or you're like on a roller coaster at Magic Mountain and you think you're gonna die and then you get off and you feel so relieved, <laughs> or you Magic come Mountain, and you feel so Mountain, bro. you uh, you come and you feel so relieved, Boy, or you discuss it. Uh, it depends on what you <laughs> depends on if you marry her or not. Oh, oh my God, bro, <laughs> pressure, bro, uh, <laughs> too much pressure for me. I know. So you're pressure get married I, and have a kid. I but then uh, I want to be the fucking Nino. <laughs> I didn't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm we're just messing with them. Uh, uh, so then, like, we eat it, and we're just like, it was okay. What? So then, but this guy was following the rules. This is real Texas barbecue, and Wait, I was, it was like, just wow. like, uh, you're like, uh, it was just like, dude, better. you could have you could have done a better job drunk. Fucking Rizzo could have done a better uh, brisket. Hey, you should watch me cooking fucking barbecue at home, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I burned that shit. And so what, what do you say to those purists and all that stuff that you got to follow certain rules? This ain't real Texas barbecue. No, nah, bro. Oh, that baloney. totally disagree. Um, you got to do what works best for you, what you like. So these flavors are not traditional. I don't just use salt and pepper. I use, you know, I use chipotle. I use uh, ancho chili a lot. Um, I use different type of flavors. I don't. I, I use what I like to use, and I do the method that I like how it came out before. So, but it, you know, I did a lot of bad barbecue before. So now I know like trial and error, right? Yeah, I know more or less. Okay, this is what I got to do. This is what I shouldn't do. But cutting the fat off, that's crazy. Yeah, oh. yeah. That's what another homie was saying. He's like, dude, what is this guy doing? I'm like, I don't know, bro. But Jimmy, He's when innovating. You, when you barbecue, um, you sober or fucked up? Or <laughs> no, it's just because when I, I barbecue, Jackie, bro, that's what I have a question. fucking rule, bro. If, if no. I cannot barbecue without a beer, bro. That's like. Okay. Yeah. That's a legit question. Right? Um, so, okay. When I started this one, yeah, totally. I was sober the whole time for this one. I didn't drink at all. But normally, 
Yeah. Normally, yeah, of course I'm drinking. Fucking A, right? Hell you, yeah, dude. You have to do, I can't do one without the other normally. You can, bro. No, I burn stuff. I burn the shit out of stuff. Um, Fucked up. Yeah. Or just normal. I forgot. <laughs> or just sober. <laughs> I, made some, I made some jalapeno poppers and I, I, mm. I, and I was drinking, taking shots, and I was like, oh shit. I went out, I went out <laughs> charcoal, bro. The raccoon lady comes out, bro. I was <laughs> also <laughs> eating, bro. Raccoon right there, lady, waiting for you. The, the, the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the mukbang episode. Watch it. Oh, watch it. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, man. Well, you're talking about. Uh, so you're from Downey. Downey. No, no. Are Downey, you from, bro, Downey, you were born in. Downey. Give him your address, dog. Uh, I mean, I was I was I grew up in Downey, I guess. Yeah, I didn't Did, born there. I guess. I heard, I heard that a uh, weird Al Yankovic is from Downey. Yes. Or Linwood. No, he's from Linwood. Yeah, he represents. Yeah. He went to Linwood High School. Who yeah, gives a fuck dude. about that dude? I, I gave a fuck. <laughs> he went to Linwood well, High School. Bro. He, he's our hero, bro. He just, had, he just had a show in L.A. and he had uh, the guy that got him on the radio first, Dr. Demento. was uh, Really? Yeah, he was there with him. And it's funny because his backstage class it said that it's a, a really good friend of Weird Al. <laughs> that a fucker, close friend. That fucker made that video with um, that Michael Jackson video, the I'm Bad, I'm Fat. I'm Fat? Dude, that's a funny video, He was like the bro. first one to do parodies, oh, right? Gee, yeah, because uh, it was at that game, which is the one that he did for Gangster's Paradise. That's the one I remember. Oh, oh, Amish yeah. Paradise. Amish yeah, Paradise, dude. <laughs> Weird, yeah. That's cool. And that's that funny, bro. I yeah. seen him one time at LA County Fair, bro. No way. Yeah, oh, dude. Performing He's or actually, just walking around? Nah, performing. He was funny, bro. He's like funny, we're, bro. He made every the whole family, we're dying, bro. It was like... <laughs> It was trippy because a lot of those songs and kind of not sketches, but back and forth with guys yeah. in the band. It was it was really cool. And then for him to be doing that before anybody did that, and it's just and then he said like the he pretty much inspired like a whole generation of like people that do parodies now. You know? Yeah, because he was doing that shit in high school, bro. Before fucking yeah, internet, bro. dude. Yeah, yeah, because that was Doctor Demento's radio show. Yeah, and he like he used to bust out a lot, like kind of like had like. How uh, KLOS had the five o'clock funnies. He would always present comedians. I think on a weekly basis. Really? Uh, yeah, he was big on MTV, right, for a bit. Yeah. Oh, he was, bro. Huh? Yeah. And for him to be from LA, bro, that's fucking, fucking dude, that's sick, dude. I, I think he did two nights at the Wiltern, dude. Damn, dude. Linwood. Now it's all fucking Mexicano, dude. It's, yeah. it's all raza. Well, yeah. If you, if you go back to those days, that's when it was all white. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. That's an Amish dude. Right? He's not Amish, but he's Jewish, right? What's up with Downey, yeah. bro? What's going on in Downey? Tell us what, what's the news in Downey, bro. Again, you guys have a new Portos. You guys have. <laughs> you guys have the yeah. fake oldest McDonald's. No, there's, oh, there's Joseph's. More, yeah, there's more Cubans, I guess. More Cubano. Is there Cubano, more Cuban? Bro. Has it always been there? It's a fucking mecca for Cubans. Really? Cuban, yeah. They always Cuban like nice. said it was like the Mexican Beverly Hills, but I was like, not really no, Mexican. No, no, no. Beverly Hills. I've heard Hills. that too. Yes. It's more like the Cuban Beverly Hills. The Greeks yeah, too, right? Greeks, bro. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. A lot of hamburger no stand hustlers over there, huh? Downey, huh? Downey, bro. Yeah. That's oh, where they have the Greek festival, right? Yep. Unless you look at like you know like back in the day, you look at Red Page or. Was that that one that they canceled? What? Uh, Red they, page? I never fucking heard of it. No, that page. was like a hooker page. Whoa! But hey, there was another... Whoa. No, no. no uh, podcast, no. Mendy Go. But page? there was another... It wasn't... The one that they canceled that like uh, Kamala Harris when she was attorney general... Penny uh, saver. Uh, no, it was... Uh, it was an, Yellow it was, pages? Back page. That was like a... It was like a... It was a... Oh, they, that... You can get uh, hookers and stuff. The, yeah, that... But um, it's, that it's gone. And, uh, but they used to have Greek. And that's like, you know, also another word for anal, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. That's one of the categories. I do Greek. In Greek, I guess back in the day, you know, you know, everybody Greek had their, like, their little side. Anal sex or just yeah. anal? Well, anal, I guess. I mean, just, if it's anal, I guess it's sex. Unless no, but it's you like, could. I oh, yeah, know. with an object? Maybe. I don't know. Well, back in the. <laughs> I don't know. Big, well, back, <laughs> usually, exactly. That's what I'm saying, an object. Well, back in the Greek days, uh, fools used to just like uh, anal each other. I don't know. They used to just bone each other. Because it wasn't gay back then. It was like, it, 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 it'd, be, it'd be like, all right. It's not hey, that it wasn't gay. Wait, wait, dude, it'd be like, dude? It, yeah, because it'd be like, hey, it wasn't back gay. It was just like, you know, you're like, hey, you know, let's kill some time because my girlfriend's yeah, making some fucking some uh, ribs, you know? That's what he does when he barbecues. He kills time. Hey, yeah. Like, my lady's making some fucking, you know, some hummus. I don't know the fuck they eat. In Greece. Let's go to Greece for a while. Hey, summer oh, loving man. again. And don't forget the Greece because Greece, Greece oh. summer loving. So uh, had me some fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> butt sex. <laughs> I was gonna say like because like now you everybody's all obsessed. <laughs> everybody's all obsessed with like you know all that sex? gay stuff. Oh, like, uh -huh. It's propaganda. The it's new, Pride uh, Month. Stoop. We still have like well, how many more days until Pride Month? Well, no. <laughs> uh, the the whole thing with the Buzz Lightyear movie supposedly uh, the yeah. the thing was down because there's like a lesbian scene. And parents don't want their kids to see it, but if you go back to the ancient there's always, times, there's always been Greek, gay stuff. Yeah. Well, dude, it's like I mean, this is 
people that invented politics and philosophy, the Greeks. They invented Plato. No, and then, that's uh, the guy's name, Plato. Uh, <laughs> so then after that, so that was like, I guess, normal, right? And I guess even when it, like when the Romans took over, like there'll be like a Roman senator that had his family or whatever, but then he'd have a couple boys in his quarters for that stuff. Isn't that crazy? But Fucking then again, then you're dipping into peel of pedophilia. Yeah, history class right here, bro. That's weird. So yeah. I guess it's normal back then, though, huh? No, that, no that's not normal. Right <laughs> it's not. No, but I thought, that, like, you know, a bony or homeboy that has muscles, you know, like, hey, they call <laughs> <laughs> they call me musculus, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you deflated that fool. Um, but then it's all like all that stuff has always been around. Hey, you but know? that's what What's you up? just said. <laughs> musculus. Hey, you just said only the buff, only the buff musculus. Hey, you said a boning, bro. Like they don't use that word no more. Right? Nah, bro. A hey, bone, hey, bro. Hey, I'm a '90s kid. Or, or, right? or, 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 no, 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 I was even '90s. Do you remember that word scam? I'm scamming the girl. Or hey, what happened, dog? Did you hook up? Nah, we just scam. We scam. I scam. The scam is like kissing a little bit of a little bit of petting, a little bit of touching. Or boner. You have a boner. That's that's still wrong. Macking, macking was a word. Oh, yeah, yeah. macking. Macking is we making mag- out. Yeah, we macked, mag- bro. Mag- yeah. yeah. And I guess I'm macking actor, is too like, uh, like uh, macking la- is like scamming. You know, a little yeah. some petting, some touching. Me la maquille, bro. Now they say fucking fucking uh, <laughs> fucking uh, anal. Well, at well anal, anal. Yeah, that's a, the other direction, right? Anal's now a good kiss now. You know, or times that change. You know, or like that band, One Direction. <laughs> Hey, leave the One Direction alone. All right, so Downey. So what's going on Downey right now? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it just made me laugh because that's what I like. I not, not frequent. Oh, the pain, Greeks. Like, yeah, Greek. the Greeks, bro. The baby, oh, Greek. do- baby donuts. You have baby donuts? Yeah, that those are good. Donuts. It's, it's it, Greek, aren't uh, they donut holes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby donuts. Yeah, uh, but they, they 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 dress them up with like you know como le ponen como. Nutella or shit like that. Oh, or chocolate. That, yeah, I don't like all that fancy shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> donut, bro. You don't like popular. beignets? Nah. Yeah, baby Play donuts donut, is like bro. a popular Greek uh, uh, dessert. Play baby donuts? donuts? Baby donuts, yeah. And are they like? Are they made out of like donut material? Donut. Dough? It's almost like little pancakes, right? Okay, yeah, it's, it's a little bit thicker than donuts. Yeah. It's a yeah. More cakey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good, dude. Yeah. Never. I've never had them. Downey, bro, what's going on on Firestone, bro? Tell us. Firestone like, in, bowl, a lot of my bro? disco plays a spot, but no, but I don't like that, dude. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> That's not barbecue, bro. No, like, shit, bro. But it, every uh, <laughs> majority of people that I met that were Greek, like their dad or their uncle or their grandpa owned a hamburger stand. Yeah, bro, they it's, do. It's, it's, so cr- it's so crazy because no I know an engineer. That's an LA I'm thing. I'm like, hey, bro, like... Uh, it's a California thing. That's what he told me. <laughs> um, was it? Yeah, my brother, my uncle has a stand. Uh, my dad has stand. Uh, my grandfather. They're the Smash Burgers. They're, but they're, I'm I'm engineer. Cuban's more like Havana stuff, right? Like yeah, that stuff. Right. Like Miami stuff, right? Yeah, well, that, there's like four or five restaurants in Downey. Tropicana, Cuban. right? Tropicana. That was good, dude. The desserts. And then it looks like a fucking house from the seventies. You're like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Grandma's cooking. Hey, cool. Tropicana, you got Portos, you got uh, Florida, which I think burned down recently. Oh, right there yeah. on like uh, Old River. No, this one, that one's, I don't know if that's still there, but uh, this one I'm talking about is on Lakewood. Portos you is know Cuban? Porto, you know Portos burned it Cuban? down. Cuban? Portos? Yeah. Portos is Cuban. Cuban? Portos they, is like then, the biggest Cuban restaurant here in yeah. California. And then you have, you have uh, Argentinian is, is Tito's, Santa Mani. That's huge. Tito. Tito, hey. bro. Um, does it, does it have a meat market there too? Yeah, they have a meat market. Um, oh yeah, dude, that's crazy, bro. Fucking Downey, bro. Downey, how was it? So I did a girl that lived in Downey, and she told me that she graduated high school in two thousand eight. Remember, she told me like at that time there's still a lot of white people, and now it's like all Latino. It's all you know? Latinos, bro. Yeah, yeah Latino, like bro? it's crazy. Like, where all the wh- Latino. Nice. Where uh, the white people go? I don't know. I, no. Fucking Apple Valley, bro. You know, they went to Eastvale and uh, Eastvale. Uh, Ontario out yeah, there. Over there. That's crazy because those are all white people. Local, like, local. I remember seeing the yearbook. Chino I was like, Hills. yeah. Actually, you know what? I like. I moved there in '85, and all my neighbors were white or Asian. Really? They're the only uh, Hispanic. Yeah. Wow. And I heard that that girl from uh, I Carly's from Downey. I don't know. I the I Carly girl. She's oh, yeah, from yeah, Downey. Yeah, the main, uh, the main. Yeah, girl. yeah. She went, she went at USC. No. Yeah, she went to USC. Yeah. yeah, she's hot, bro. She's I still think of her like a little kid, bro. No, she's she's thirty now, bro. <laughs> she's 30 now. Yeah. Oh damn. <laughs> she time flew, bro. Yeah. <laughs> she watched like, that show like. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh man, that's funny. So Downey, man, Downey's the shit, huh? Downey's. <laughs> I mean, I don't live there anymore, you know. Yeah. What? The guitar Down- player from Metallica is from Downey too, right? Carpenters from the Downey. Who? The Carpenters. The carpenters, uh, bro. The Blasters yeah, too. Fun fact: I lived. Two houses away from that no original house, bro. Oh, How about really? the plumbers? Where are they from? 
The Zenro. <laughs> hey, hey that's my dad, bro. Hey, uh, so what's up with the ca- the carpenters? Were like, did you talk to them, or did they go by the house? No, no, bro. She was already she dead by that time. I oh, oh, shit. <laughs> they already made her coffee, eh? Hey, yeah, they, 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 her house was like, oh, it's haunted. Like, don't go past it. And it was like, oh, let's always go past it, you know? Like, that's all it was. Oh, hell yeah. What song did they sing Ghost. again? <laughs> I, I know it, bro. I was I, I came with a song right now, but Superstar. it's from the, it's from the bar, no, bro. It's no, not it's them. There's a classic one. I don't want to sing it. Come on, sing, I'll sing it. Yeah, you sing it, bro. Again. Sing it, bro. No, it's like you only just begun. There it is, bro. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. The oh. carpenters or carpenters? Those carpinteros, homie. Brothers. Don't confuse it for the paisas. <laughs> the brother and sister. Oh yeah, they're white, bro. <laughs> When America was fucking uh, perfect, bro. One of the funniest <laughs> bumper stickers I've ever seen Jerry in my life is like, bro. my boss is a Jewish carpenter. That's hilarious, dude. Jesus. Jesus yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's funny, dude. That it, bro? That's the song? That's the one, bro. And then they have another. They- Sing it, bro. That's like a hand comes out of nowhere and starts jerking you off. Huh? Oh, hey, bro. <laughs> Don't go by the house. It'll be a skeleton hand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That shit is terrible, bro. Scary, bro. Downy, bro. The Downy right here, bro. Downy. That's Downy, bro. This is what the little girl from uh from The Exorcist wanted to sing, huh? There's a song from uh there's a <laughs> song a from movie, uh, Happy Gilmore. That's it? Oh, dude, and I have another popular song, let me see. The car. No, I can't. I heard that's the song that was playing when Biden fell off his bike. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, leave alone, bro. Dude, like, we what is he doing on a bike, dude? He's, hey, he's giving a discount, bro. What do you mean? Dude, he's, he needs, he's, a, he, he needs a tricycle, bro. Hey, he's bringing the prices down, bro. How old is Biden? He, I, I, I think he's only like 72. 150? Yeah, wait. Because my grandma thinks that Trump's running again. That's how old she oh, is. Trump, like, and then she calls Biden the no viejito. Comment. It's like, lady, you're 90. That's hilarious. But she called Bob Biden Bob. the whole same age, don't those fools? No, well, no, I think Biden's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Biden like, and Trump two years like, apart. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. They're like, just, they're like just, early 70s. He just announced that they're going to they're gonna stop the federal tax for the gas. I oh. hope so. Is they're that a good thing? I can't think of Yeah. How about they'll give, drop for about a dollar? Gas is expensive. For three months. So. Yeah, three months, bro. Gas is expensive. Uh, so I'm in America, bro. Why don't, just, why don't they just drop it forever? Because we're going bankrupt, bro. I saw this thing on Facebook or Instagram. They were saying. Stop driving from July 3rd to the July 5th so the gas prices go down. Yeah, you know? bro. Drive a fucking hybrid, bro. Yeah, Why? My Transit. question is, like, you still go out there to drive. There's still a lot of traffic. It's like, we need to make gas $12 a gallon, bro. It's like, dude, yeah. what, what's going what's gonna to have this to make it stop? Well, for me, bro, I hope. <laughs> Chariots, drive, bro. More people drive, bro, more people crash. <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah, that's good. Yeah, go drive out there, guys. We need. And they to, said too uh, that like uh, come come see me. So they're gonna drop the tax for three months, and then they're gonna give the Ukraine a billion dollars. Yeah, bro. Save them, bro. <laughs> you gotta save the Ukrainians, bro. You, all the Ukrainians over here, bro. Dude, like every time I look over there at the war, like dude, I see the president of the of the Ukraine now, uh, Jimmy fucking, Kimmel. He's gangster, bro. He's like bro, like I thought he was fighting, bro. Like he's celebrity, he's doing bro. TikToks, exactly, bro. He's like know, over, arm know, wrestling you challenge. You know that fuck was a comedian before? Yeah, he before, had a movie, he, right? Yeah, that's 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 pretty cool. We can be presidents, dude. What the fuck? You, you want you want Russia to come down on? <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said, bro. Russia. Did you guys oh. see that movie, uh, Chernobyl? No. It, I forgot what it was on, but it was like a true story about like the nuclear reactor that exploded in Russia back in the day. I've seen then, two episodes of it. Have you seen that movie, uh, Father Stu? <laughs> oh, <laughs> please enlighten us, guys. <laughs> Father Stu, bro. Hey, dude, I've seen that bro. movie, bro. You've seen it? Yeah, dude. It was, sad. it was weird. It was like, it was like, all right, am I going to get more sadder? And like, you know, I was thinking about it, and it just got like sad, sad. Like, you know, all right, what's wrong with them? We're going to have to cut off a testicle. Nah, bro, like... Slowly but surely, like nothing. That movie work. threw me off, bro, because that fucker was just like he just fucking just had bad luck, bro. Right? Had bad luck, and he went what boxing, and he wasn't that great. I guess he started old. He started at an old age, no? He started well, they, boxing. Well, they were saying because he was already having head trauma or his head dad problem. was a like a dick, bro. Right? He, he left him. And I was thinking the mom was gangster though, right? That's the, the reason he moved to California. All right, I'm gonna be an actor, but yeah. really, my dad's over there. Yeah, I think he did that for a reason though. Yeah, yeah. But at the at the end, bro, that I was really surprised that he was really into that girl and that he's gonna like you know do anything chick, bro. to to be into her. Oh, yeah. And then it came to the point that he'd rather give his uh, his life to the Lord and not be married with her. 
And she was shocked too because he was gonna do that. You remember the dad was talking to him, and you know that you. Have but he almost he almost gave up. This chick right here. That's, that's it, bro. Ooh, she's hot. That's dude. his fucking. Well, that's, she was she was pissed because she banged ooh, him. Ooh, damn. She wasn't supposed to. No, she. So he banged her, and then he fucking he went. I he thought went he in, was right? like celibate, bro. I need to watch it again. So yeah, my boy, it. fucking Mark Wahlberg, his fucking father Stu. Father Stu, bro. Imagine this. Imagine having this as a father, bro. Okay, the end, all the bro. girls want him. Yeah, how about yeah. when they baptize him? All the chicks were like <laughs> looking crazy, at him. Huh? Bro. No, man. You know what, what pissed me off is when that was it. Uh, um, it was in a cardinal, right? When he fucking dogged him out. Well, the, who was that? Who was that guy? I think it's a guy from a rid that's originally from Clockwork Orange. <laughs> it's him, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Was it Malcolm or something? Yeah. I mean, he's he just old, looked dude. evil, huh? Oh, he's a he dick. Evil, but bro. it also goes to show that he did have heart because he went to go argue at with the end, huh? And no, at, at the, the end, end at the end, and and he made him a priest. He gave him the but have I think good because, sacraments. No, because all the pressure he got. I think the community fucking wanted to take him out. That and also I think he had a little heart to let, let give him not his way, but to hear him out. But he also said that the church, I'm sure he was getting letters from up top from the Vatican, said, listen, we're not gonna let this dude be a priest, bro. All right, he's a degenerate, this and that. Too many yeah. muscles. You know what I mean? That and then how about the other guy that was a hater, bro? Because he was getting close with that girl, and then he became a was trying to become a priest like him, and in the end, oh, was that was that he why? Was that and then the end, no, was he, that why he wanted to? Yeah, hit? I don't know oh. if he wanted to hit it, but he was just hating on him the whole time. I thought it was he was gay. He, I, I thought that you thought he, he was gay? I thought he to was me, gay. he seemed really? like he was like he was trying to maybe fight that off, but in the end, he took all his uh, all his um, his counseling from him, and he knew it was him, and he knew it was him. That's why he gave him that chain. Remember. Oh, at the end when he confessed yeah. the confession, huh? And it was so the crazy, confession. like the people you end up hating, you end up like loving. It's trippy, dude. Now. That was that was not, just at the end when he got that disease, and that's a oh, fucked dude. up disease. Get, all right, Wait, I what get disease? It. Herpes? Uh, <laughs> yeah, herpes. Dime perro, don't fucking lie to me. I don't want to tell people. No. He got like a muscle disorder where yeah. oh, really? he couldn't walk no more. Well, they just die. It just like, died. It bro. just stops working, but your Shut biggest up. muscles stop working. Yeah, and he and he died at an early age at fifty, bro. Mark, and Marky remember, Mark. Yeah, and, bro. And, fucking died in his fifties, bro, in the movie. And then I was really surprised too that the dad at the end, like he was watching his sermon. You can kind of tell the dad. He like, changed, huh? I'm gonna become a priest too. But he changed yeah. though. No, he did. He like changed he, at the end. Did, like, but it's like, dick. It's like almost come to the point, like where like you don't even need to change anymore, bro. But you see, you see that when when the 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 parents they fucking hate each other right they talk yeah, shit bro. about each other and at the end they're fucking like best Together. friends bro they actually like, they hooked up at the end like what 20 30 plus years went by because the son got the disease and they felt really bad that it can't they fell in love with each other again that was well, pretty cool like they were they kind of like never gave him a chance and like they were kind of blaming themselves for it and it's also too. It was like trippy that like now you got to take care. Like usually you take care of your parents, and they're taking care of him. Yeah, bro. Bro, when he went to go pick him up at that church, when they said like you better you have you can't make the sacrament, so that's why you can't do it. And he went to the church, and he fell down on the floor, and then he crawled. Oh. And the dad came to pick him up. That shit. Was Mine was sad, when bro. when the when the truck broke down, and he fucking like all right, fuck it, I'm gonna take you up oh, up the hill, bro. Dude, and he's pu pushing. Him. Dude, like, he pushed him oh, all the way bro. to the church, bro. And he didn't want to, bro. He's like, dude, this, like, he's like basically looking at his kid being that old, trying to be a priest, going, another one of your failed attempts to be something. You know? oh, fuck, and it was, that's how the dad, but I think when he was watching his sermon, because even all those people are agreeing, because the first sermon he ever gave as like a student in the seminary, he was moving people because he's being real, bro. Dude, he just, and then the dad like looking through the little, out. through that little, I don't know what it was. Um, those uh, it seemed like he was behind a banister or something, or looking at him when he's giving it, and he was like kind of turning the dad too, like he's like, this guy isn't full of shit. Maybe this is what, what he was meant to do. And, and I think that movie taught what taught me like a lesson, like. Dude, anything can happen, bro. You could be fucking. Yeah, bro. You could be a millionaire. His life was perfect, almost like he was, he to was set up good. for the future. Like I'm done with my past. He was good. He was working. You know, he, he met a girl, and then he really like he was gonna do everything. He everything was in front of him. Then boom, this fucking thing hit him, bro. Damn. You know, and that's a, a, a challenge in life, right? I'm sure a lot of people get hurdles at the at but you know the within your life. It's like a disease that like they don't. There was Unheard no of. cure when he told him. There's no cure. He's that, done, bro. He was like, fuck. What year does I'm this done. movie take place in? The around this, not eighties, eighties. Yeah, because yeah, he's yeah, he was all eighties, yeah. early eighties. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, bro. Yeah, that. It, was, it was trippy because 
to me it was sad the whole way through. My wife fell asleep, then I had she fell asleep? there, and I was like trying not to cry like in front of him. I was like, dude, and he's over there looking over at me. What's wrong with this motherfucker, dude? Is he mad because there's no more chips? <laughs> but I was just like, dude, like I'm all. I hope this shit doesn't get sadder, and then it gets sadder, and it then like sad, when bro. he goes to visit his dad. At the trailer park, and they started having it out and start yelling and shit. Yeah, bro. And then neighbor comes out looking at him, and like, I was like, bro, this fool. But the he was still trying, like, no matter what, if his dad's a dick, he's gonna go, what up, dude? Just want to say hello, hello. And I thought he was gonna hook up with a chick and just have a family, bro, yeah. and just. I, you know what though? That's what I thought too. But in the it end, threw, it, was it threw you easy. off, huh? That was too easy, bro. That was too easy. Huh? That would have just been a normal fucking normal movie. fucking, every typical, but marriage, it's like, right? That whole thing, like, that's difficult though. The disease that there's like not cure or treatment or like bro like he wasn't like imagine like you get so constipated because you can't shit like but not that they can't get the shit out of you that like your muscles don't work to push your stuff wow. he, and when he falls no the dad's like i gotta yes, pick you bro. up <clears throat> like you like it just you stop working bro like you just damn like the big muscles first first it's your so you can't walk and then you need walkers but oh, then dude. you're you're all club, no, and then he bro. gained weight. Deter- he gained weight. Deteriorating. He gained weight. He's like, "Fuck, man, this is not me." Like, and it was, he, he it was weird because I've never like, seen Marky Mark all fat, bro. Yeah, he he that he that was probably one of the best movies. You know what's funny? Because I saw the, the I saw like those uh, like paparazzi pictures of him fat, and like he's getting he's letting himself go. But I'm like, that has to be for real. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's no, what, that I thought fucker. about that too. I was like, that's a fool that, that would never let himself go fat. Exactly, because that fool wakes up at two in the morning to work out, bro. Like, that's the time I go to sleep. Payday though, man. That's the time I get. My last meat or my last snack, bro. Two in the morning. That, that was just a good movie. It just throws it, that movie just throws life at you. I think you know. You never know what's coming, bro. And you, you know what's know, crazy? Bro. As soon as you sit there, you're on top of it. Everything's cool. And your back hurts. <laughs> no, no, no. Even like before that, like before I fucked up my back, yeah. or before I was like, cool, I was coasting, yeah. And then that <laughs> shit happened. And I do like we were sitting here with Jay Valentino, and the podcast was going for a minute and twenty, uh, an hour and twenty minutes. And then I'm looking over at Rizzo, like, you done with me, the fucking dude. question? <laughs> I was like, bro, stop already! Like, so uh, when you were DJing, uh, how many of the chicks had fake titties? Yeah, I, I like, didn't ask that question. Damn it, dude! <laughs> but I was like, I was tripping. But that was my little pain in here. You know, I was just uncomfortable, dude. But I mean, I didn't have a debilitating disease, bro. Like Jesus, yeah. Man. Dude, but imagine having imagine that, imagine at, just at, at this age right now. No se me para. Because you know? like, you see those kids. No, that was because I was gonna say real quick. Just when you said that, did you see little kids that like they're missing an arm? Uh. Oh. No, but they're little, right? So to them, their whole life they've been going through it. So it's like almost like nothing. Get your hand chopped off at forty years old. Oh, what dude. What kind of mental fucking fuckness it'll do to you. And, and you see when when you see yeah, right. Hey, hey, not the good one, right? Hey, <laughs> you see, you not see the checkoff hand. See hey. that chick is his, his, like that one chick. Um, she's like, fuck, dude, he's done. Like, what am I gonna do? And he was, she was with him the whole time, right? Bro, till he became a priest, yeah, like she, bro. Because it, it almost seemed like she didn't believe him. She's like, how how are you gonna turn this pussy down for the Lord? Damn, <laughs> dude. Because no, the no, way she was looking at him, like, yeah. are you stupid? What? I for thought real. you wanted me. He's on no. No, you know what? She I think paid, I, I want to be a nah, priest. Fuck that. She's pretty hard to get too. No, nah, she, she was, was a bitch for sure, get, bro. bro. Oh, I'm, well, a, I'm Catholic. Because you know? it seemed like, because you know, also like the white dude, like she was like, usually they don't make white dudes work that hard, but she was making this oh, fool work she, that hard. Yeah, you mean bro. like, I was like, damn, you're over there with the dad and shit on my butt. But she really wanted to like fix her, pa- her papers too, no? No. I think they're yeah. already, no, they're already from no? there. Yeah, yeah. I don't Didn't think that yeah. No. Or she <laughs> thought. <laughs> oh, wrong movie, bro. Hey, what? That's my cousin, bro. <laughs> oh my god oh, I thought that was it Never yeah, mind bro dude. But yeah dude That shit was uh, It goes to show man Like dude Shit like in uh, What is it Like when you get married Is like in sickness And in health Fuck bro and They Mar- weren't even married bro. And she was down for that fool What's up with marriage bro I don't know bro Wait, How long you been married for I've been <laughs> married. What's up with marriage uh, yeah. I've been, married. I don't I've know. been happily married For 23 Ooh, years uh, You gotta throw that in there 23 wow. years Um, I was married in uh, November of uh, 2008 and do you guys get married because you got married, or do you guys get married because you guys had a kid? We yeah we we didn't do traditional. <laughs> why, why you gotta do this? You know, for, you know bro? what? It, it, it you know what? People always you know what's the right thing to do? You know, first is um you know you know find your girlfriend, get married, you know save up buy a house, and then have kids, and then work for fucking thirty years. Yeah, I did everything the opposite, bro. Everything the opposite, and it, and it worked out. You know. Yeah. Um. So I'm blessed. 23 years. I mean, 23. You know, hard years. It's not easy. Marriage is fucking hard, bro. 
If someone tells you marriage is easy, they're full of shit, bro. Either they're lying to your face. Because Who the it's, fuck it's you married hard. to? A fucking cardboard cutout? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doesn't, yeah. doesn't talk back? Yeah. And that's the only person that you can like talk shit back to you and you're like, I actually have to listen to this one. <laughs> <laughs> even your parents are like, fuck you, close it, the door and leave. Dude. It's hard. And, and even my parents, they were married for like, I think 30 years and they split up. So to see them, you're like, what the that's fuck? That's a long ass run, bro. Yeah, but my, I see my parents like argue for the dumbest shit. And they just, um, you know, it was hard because... For them, my dad was handicapped, and he was just miserable, and he just hated life, and he was going through some shit, and he just treat my mom like fucking garbage. So I think a woman doesn't like being treated like After garbage After a while, either. they're over it, bro. They're like, yeah. fuck you too then, you know? It's like, they're so, only going to last so long. You don't yeah, marry them, then they go marry somebody else. Yeah, and that's what she did. She <laughs> married someone else. <laughs> and I told her, yeah. yeah. It, it, now, true story. I mean, I'll follow, I'm not embarrassed to say it. And you know they divorce and but but see at the end, um, it's funny when my my mom's new husband, you know, and we're like you know you don't calm down or anything You're like motherfucker. It's Roger. Eh? Yeah, so so he ended up passing away. Oh man. And um, so I guess we guess now. So <laughs> <laughs> so so but <laughs> hey dude. <laughs> so you know and then and then he she moved back with my my dad and like nothing ever happened, bro. And at the end, I'm like, man, they're just two old couple just working shit out. And I mean, they went through a lot of life experiences, you know. Um, but at the end, they're cool. And my mom took care of them at the end. So she took care of them at the end? At the end, I go, mom, oh, that's it. Oh, wow, bro. bro. Like that? Wow. You're most a soldier, I'm, I'm all, bro. I'm, that's the least she could do. Because uh, usually they let the kids take care of them. I ain't going to talk yeah, to me and my husband anymore. Yeah, so it was one of those deals. And I go, Because I know, I know people that are divorced mm. and they can't go to the same parties because there's going to be shit that's going to go off. Like, yeah. is she going? Then I'm not going. No, but you have to go. Like I asked you, is she going? Then I'm not going. Yeah. Don't ask me again. Yeah, that, that's tough. I mean, people go through a lot of divorces or... But it is hard, though, because it's like almost like <clears throat> being married, like they can be in the beginning or throughout the marriage your best friend, and at certain points you're kind of worst enemy. Enemy. But also <laughs> enemy. when you get divorced, it'll be like your worst enemy. Cause I that's, think... Because they know so much about you and how you are, and you don't like being called out on that shit. I think that's Because even it is. your homies, these fool knows about some shit about me. You know some shit about me. But do you really know all my quirks? I don't know the you details, mean? bro. Right? It, but the details happen in your own home. It's up to you to let them out. Yeah. So yeah, like when people. somebody calls you on some personal shit, and it's not even friendship, when somebody that you're actually making love to, having yeah. sex with, like growing <laughs> financially with, or whatever you want to call it emotionally, <clears throat> once they call you out on your shit, those are like dagger stabs. Those ain't those are those are stabs to kill. Those ain't just to injure. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just look at life like, fuck, if you fall in love with this person for a reason, and like, what made you fucking get divorced? Like, what the fuck was it? What caused it? What? I don't know, but I can tell you this from being married, that it's so easy to walk away, and it's so much harder to just, like, deal with it. And on top of you have you have kids, bro. That's and then, like, bro. bills and all that shit, because bills don't stop. Bills are every day. Yeah, bro. Like, you're sitting there, the, you're married, the you're the in your car, you're on the freeway, you're in traffic. What comes to your mind? Bills. Bills, bro. I mean, especially now that you're on a car that's costing you seventy dollars for a half tank. Fucking scary and Rizzo over here, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. Now I know why you don't want to get married, yeah, bro. Yeah, you're talking married, about bro. It. You guys years. are not selling it on me, bro. The fuck? <laughs> well, see, that's the bad stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's really it's, 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 it's something. It's, both, bro. it's yeah. almost so beautiful you can't even describe it because it's not a word and, for and, it. And what's I mean, a good like, stuff? Like, like marriage has its, its you know you argue for the dumbest shit. You forgot to take the trash. I'm like, oh, fuck, I forgot. Okay, I'm sorry. But you gotta go take do it, it out. bro. You're not gonna go yeah, send her and her little moo moo out there with a yeah, the little sandals. I take out the trash. And, and uh, you'll do it. You know, you have your you call daddy duties, I guess, or 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 husband duties. Hubby do it. You know, Gucci daddy duties. Women have their their girl their woman duties or their wives duties. You know. It's the same shit. You know, my friends, oh, you're fucking mother. No, no, fuck I'm not. You know, and my, I just, I, I, this is what I use. I'm like, I wear the fucking pants, but she chooses the color, right? Yeah. It, it works both ways. <sighs> and they're pink, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, real, and real quickly, oh, you're, you're, the question was, how does a marriage fall apart? You know what I was thinking about right now? Is it falls apart many different ways. Obviously, it falls apart yeah. financially if you don't got it together. Oh, yeah. You know, because somebody can either be feeding the relationship or taking too much from it, not doing enough. The other thing, too, is outside influence, whether it being her parents or her mother or her friends or his friends and his parents and his mother. Because there's some guys that are like, they swear they're not mama's boys, but they're the biggest mama boys oh, yeah. on the planet. And then there's That's women that like do not make a decision without their friend or without their mom. Their and, moms, yeah, yeah. And it's a fucking chemistry because you marry into a, you marry into. You're merging. 
to another family. To another family, bro. So you don't know what the fuck the family's uh, the 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 yeah. dad's cool. So data orphan. That's what we're trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, cool. Then you really have problems, dude. Or the mother, if your mother-in-law's cool, and, and or if they like your mom or dad, it's like fuck. You have to make it work. Yeah, mm-hmm. no matter like, no matter what, and, and it the other sucks. Thing too, real quick, I was gonna say, all right, it works in like, but your 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 status or where they how they see you is on an everyday basis or on a weekly basis every time because like if you fuck up it's like work you can be perfect attendance for like two months or the employee of the month but you fucked up and you drop fucking 10 pa- pallets of paint and you fucking lose the company seven thousand oh, yeah. dollars you're gonna be sitting different than you you're were fucking a, before you did that from a hero to a zero bro exactly so if you say so you yell at the kid or something or you like there's something that happened <clears> that you didn't you know you didn't approve of or you didn't do or that you had something to do with that they don't like then you're like and then you got the also the people that they have balls that confront you on it. Oh yeah. And then no. again, they're getting into the problems of your past. No, and, and you have you have people that confirm your even your your girlfriend. They all oh, she's too good for you. Or, no, you're too good for her. Yeah. Your your own family, your own biggest fucking critics, right? Yeah, bro. And you're like motherfucker. Who gives a fuck what you think? You know. Remember when you had that other girlfriend that was prettier? Remember? Remember her? Yeah, she was tall. She had better eyebrows than this one. And 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 you know she was fucking um you know she was rich. (laughs) You know what the fuck? (laughs) Yeah, bro. You know they get you get shit like that. Look, you're over here working like a slave. I I think um you know what it is. This is what this is my take. I think in in marriage, is the man, because if you're a fucking uh, if you're a pussy when you're in high school. And you're not ready for fucking a challenge. You're gonna struggle in a marriage. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Yeah, you gotta be fucking tough to be married, bro. Yeah, if you're a pussy and you're okay, whatever. You're gonna be like that for the rest of your fucking life. So you're gonna get divorced because the the woman gonna fucking run you over. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it definitely has to. It, be it like works both ways. Battle. But I think if a guy is a pussy, he's gonna fucking fail in a relationship. Yeah, you have to be tough. Like no motherfucker, it's my way. Okay, it's your way too. It's my way, but yeah, it's your yeah. way too. Yeah, it's, it goes two ways. Even though if you're you're dating for twenty fucking years, there's for a reason you're dating for twenty years, right? Yeah. You don't trust that person, you know. Like me, you know, I was dating for four years, and I said, "This is the one. That's it." Yeah. You know, I could see her for the next the rest of my life. I could because I look at the life like, who's when I'm old when I'm an old man who's gonna take care of me, right? Yeah. Like oh. Yeah, but an, an old man at ninety years old, like fucking homeboy Hefner. What, what happened to him? That fool, dude, he was that banging fool. every fucking chick, but he wasn't happy, bro. I don't know about it. <laughs> Have you seen so, his bro. pictures? Always right there with cigars, <laughs> that fucking <laughs> shirt all open, like the you chest hair so, showing. No, I mean, who the fuck knows? Bro? Who knows? Bro? Like, dude, to me, look, I, look, look, that I love, I love get, getting okay, laid. I love he doing can get all that the stuff. Hottest chick ever. But you know what? Day. After a while, dude, I don't want to get laid. I just want a massage, bro. At least just to chill, bro. Yeah, like something to talk to. I want a brisket sandwich. I don't want to hear that too. But I don't want to hear any little noises. I don't. I just, I just want to chill the fuck. I want to chill out. Jimmy's wife right here, fucking like, dad, he was not a cook, man. Jimmy, bro. But I was gonna say, bro, because he's a other guy that's uh, three guys out of here that are married but i was gonna say so how did you get married where did you get married at did you get married I, traditional at a church yes i got married at um at a um uh a master's court in um alhambra alhambra bro oh, oh at the court? i had my prom yeah. there no oh, way. Boy, how i married there bro so you I got married with a priest, and oh, yeah. like, priest. Bro. Yeah. or a chaplain catholic excuse me catholic church in um in corona um oh that's where i was born corona California? corona bro yeah, um corpus christi bro. church what selena what it burned down bro um, but we got Vera married Fonsi there. Um, you know, I was 22 years old. Wow, I was 22 years baby. old. You know, married, cool, baby in the oven. Um, you know, we had a <clears> big <throat> wedding. You know, my in laws paid for it. You know, that I was, yeah, I was riding. I didn't really have a dollar in my pocket. I was waiting for the fucking uh, the dollar dance run to pay my truck payment. <laughs> 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 I just bought a brand new truck back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I got hey, no, hey, 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 only twenties on her, right? Dude, dude, you know what? And, and there's something that that I told myself, and I'm not afraid to say it, fucking bro. I did not drink. Later, right? I did not drink from my, in my wedding night Why? day. I did not drink, bro. I was a fucking like, dude. Come on, 22. I was pounding, bro, every day. Dude, that's young, dude. I was young, bro. I was fucking. You were kids still, 22. I was a kid, bro, yeah. 22. <clears throat> and I told myself, I'm not gonna drink that day. And people were buying me drinks, bro. Shots. I go, nah, bro. I'm cool. I'm gonna enjoy my my days. My day, man. And then my my in laws paid for the wedding. It was like a nice wedding. Like, I don't want to ruin it, bro, because I knew myself. I could get fucked up, and 
you know, I get divorced the next day, <laughs> you know, and, and and we went on honeymoon in Rosarito, bro. That's why I love Rosarito. It was badass, it was, dude. You know, it was like fucking... the Long Beach Dub All Star song. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that was I, I was like, hey, yo, yo, dollar dance, you know, traditional dollar dance for for Mexicans, right? And um, get the dollar dance and fucking count the money at the end. Oh, fuck, put it away. And I go, oh, good. I could have a fucking nice. Uh, He's like Karen and Goodfellas. That's it, bro. You know, and, and it worked out. And, you know, I'm blessed 23 years later, bro. Hell yeah, dude. My wife works with me and it's cool, man. I love it. I love it, bro. I got married at a, at a, the little wedding chapel in Las Vegas. We got married by Elvis impersonator. I thought I was going to do that. Because <laughs> <Ho, ho, ho. laughs> yeah, it was bro. funny because uh, we actually got the Elvis impersonator for, I mean, I guess for free because he was like 100 bucks more. But he had a wedding. And he's like, man, they cancel, man. I'll marry you guys. Hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but if, if you're ma- if you're married in Nevada, yeah. If you ever get a divorce, how will that shit work? I don't know. I, I don't get divorced. No, I'm just saying uh, for, <laughs> for people that are in Nevada. No, how I will that work? It, it, you, you have to file with the, the state. Nevada courts, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So it not, won't be. It won't be California. It's not federal, right? It's state per yeah, state. state. Yeah, yeah. So how do you get married, like in, in in Mexico and shit? What happens? It doesn't I think exist you have here. To, I, I think Does you have exist? to do something here, like through the through uh, legal means, like go get married at the courthouse or something. Oh shit, bro! Because in the end, it's just a contract. Yeah, because I remember going when we got married. We're like, okay, let's get married. We went to um, downtown. I think it was was it Norwalk and downtown LA. I know. Oh, that week they'll marry you or they'll baptize you no matter what, right? <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh shit! You know, baptize so my we, kids I, there, yeah, bro. Yeah, because the whole thing is like they help out like the immigrant community. Yeah. they don't need all those documents and all that shit. So. Yeah, so we did that, and then we we planned the wedding, and then we got married, and then um, that's it, bro. You didn't have a bachelor party. You know what's funny? I had a bachelor party, bro. I fucking and Nicola and Miss Kitty's, so bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At Chico's. Eh? So my brother-in-law had a had a had me a bachelor party. He's my best man. Wait, he did with he? <clears throat> yeah, he was. I'm not thinking. <laughs> I'm a fucking fuck, wow, bro. Twenty three years, bro. And um, I I still remember my bachelor party. We went. And I was sick, bro, like fucking like COVID, bro, fucking coughing, oh, sneezing. You got the ridge, you got the H1N1, Dude, I was bro. Sick, like like a, a patient zero over here. I was sick like a dog, bro. And then then my wife says, you have to go. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm sick. I, I ate can't a bad, go. bro. I went, bro, and I was sneezing all fucking night. You're sneezing on the strippers? Not, what the fuck? I did not have fun. I didn't have fun for my fucking bachelor party, bro. Where, where was your strip? I mean, your strip. Where was your uh, bachelor party at? Yeah, it's a house, random house here, oh. bro. And my, my sister-in-law's, you know, my boyfriend was, I couldn't stand him. It was at his house. I was like, oh, man. everything was just bad, bro. I was sick. I couldn't stand that fucking guy. It smelled like cigarettes. I said, fuck this place. Like I was like there for two hours and I bailed, dude. I said, I, I can't do this. You didn't even get a chub? Nothing, bro. Yeah, a rough <laughs> Nothing, chub. Nothing, bro. So uh, if you guys ever have a bachelor party, invite me, bro. Dude, I've, I've been to two bachelor parties and the same strippers showed up to both bachelor. No way. Parties. Yeah, they were. They look like the sequel, homie. No, we're back. They okay. look like uh, on South Park when they were doing the uh, the dog, the bounty hunter episode. <laughs> well, they look like the little lady, but cartoon. They're all short, big titties, and wide. It's like, oh my. Where was God. this at? In Riverside. You said the same stripper? Yeah, like twice. <laughs> I was like, what is this, oh, bro? That's funny. The same stinky bitch. That's funny. Fucking discount, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. She was probably one of those. And you know like, what's crazy? Everybody did the lollipop thing. What's a lollipop? What thing? is it, bro? Well, you use your lollipop and you use a lollipop and you come back with a lollipop in your mouth. I was like, I'm not doing that. I don't know what that means. Bro. It's disgusting, bro. I've never been to a bachelor party. It's called a. It's called a strip. You never been one? I never been to a wedding. Shut the fuck up. I've never been to a wedding. Oh no, Felipe's uh, thing, but that was I wait, didn't wait, go wait, to a wait, wedding. Wait, wait, wait. You never been to a wedding or a bachelor party? A bachelor party? Didn't know them. I don't. I don't really know anybody that got married besides oh, Felipe. Oh, so yeah. just just any of your homies didn't get married. And this guy, but I never went to his. You didn't invite yeah, me, you, bro. How come you didn't invite me? What the fuck, dude? Hey. Vegas, bro. Oh, yeah, Vegas, bro. Yeah, it was secret. Uh, only five people can go, bro. <laughs> 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 only, your parents, only your parents and fucking. I think, I think it, it was only only, only your parents and raccoon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Raccoon didn't live there back then, bro. <laughs> fucking raccoon. I want to meet raccoon, bro. Uh, dude, it's just, Maria, <laughs> like Serrano. Go over there and tell her to clean her house, bro. Hey. How, about, how about you, Jimmy? Give me some stories, bro. Mary Maria. Oh, I, I never been to a bachelor party either. What the fuck? Really? My do- no, I'm the only one who's married. I'm like, you look like the guy that hands out the lollipops, though. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that fucking mean? <laughs> you yeah. dip the lollipop. And what? In what? Hey, holy the water? stripper. This, yeah. You, to the, honor, you, like, on what? Honor titties? No, bro, in their thing. Yeah. What? And then you would you eat it after? Yeah, you just. Yeah. That's oh. disgusting. Yeah, bro. What happens I mean, a stranger? I don't know. I didn't do it because I was like, I didn't want to get like a bump on my lip. Yeah, right? Like, dude, everybody's sitting there all, 
You're not gonna go, bro. Oh. I'm not That's gonna fucking... go. I didn't go last time. I'm not gonna go this time. I know some guys gonna be like, "Oh, you're fucking gay." No, that's fucking nasty. Especially you know, she probably took a nasty piss before. Dude, like me, like she I'm weird. Dude. Like I don't like to share women, dude. I'm a like, germaphobe, bro. And like it's like, dude, if you're gonna be dipping your little popsicle in there, your lollipop, I don't want you to dip it in there too, bro. Like, no, nah, then you keep it. <clears throat> so. <laughs> even a, even like at strip clubs, I don't want to get l the same lap dance by like a dude that's next to me or a dude across the way. I want another chick. He's all, you got to wait for the other turn when the other lady so comes in six that, hours. That one, uh, <laughs> hey, that one chick that went twice, how she recognize you? Are you recognize she didn't even recognize me. Like we're, we're like, dude, seven dudes were like, dude, that's, yep, she was at my. And then another guy that was there said, yeah, she was a stripper at my bachelor party. So she's been at three bachelor oh, parties. Oh, shit. She's, that just means she's working. She's in the man, bro. And she's working. Yeah, the the man. Overtime, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Put your bills I got pay, another bro. one after this. Yeah, yeah but it was, it was gross, bro. Huh? That bills, she has bills to pay, bro. Yeah, but I think the, 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 every, the, the lollipop thing is like 20 bucks a pop. And what oh. if she doesn't watch it? She forgets. She falls asleep. There's ants crawling up in there after. Oh, I, don't know, like, bro. I don't know, Rizzo. I didn't ask those questions, but all that shit went through my head. I, just, oh, okay, I think so. I, was, I was 23 at the time when that shit went. I was like, hell. Is it the lollipop with the gum and shit? <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it's like Scorpion the, Hub. No. <laughs> it's, style. A, it's the one with the just like, it's a. Uh, What's a what's a, it's a what's a tootsie roll? The ones that you get at the fucking barbershop when they cut your hair. <laughs> Those <laughs> are lolly, the palatino ones, right? The yeah. trasile, <laughs> pero toma, mijo. <laughs> so, um, I guess when uh, oh, Rizzo gets married, bro, oh, lollipops. We'll nah, pitch it, bro. We're going to Hong Kong. No, no lollipops, bro. <laughs> you said it, bro. Hong Kong, dude. How about you, Rizzo? What's what's his? Oh no, what's Jim, Jimmy. Like even you, Jim, where, where oh, do you Jimmy, get married? Yeah, where do you get married, bro? I got married in introduce your wife, bro. Here she is. <laughs> Downy, bro. Down? In, um, no, what did I tell you? I t t and did you get did you get married like uh, in the beginning or like why did you get married? How did you get married? Shotgun Who wedding. Did you bro, ask? Bro. Did you get down on a knee? The, the traditional when you ask your um, you you, your yes. par parents. I was gonna you know, ask you real quick. They just forced you, bro. Let me tell let me, me, man. How let did me you ask you? <laughs> I was gonna say that. What's up with these guys that uh, when they get engaged, there just happens to be a photographer there. I don't get that. It's pre pre planned, bro. Pre -planned. Yeah, the woman's pre planned. Like, everything should be organic, bro. Yeah. And it's like you're sitting there, you give the camera guy a wink. Well, oh. bro, they didn't have iPhone back then, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, I always thought that, not that it's cheating, it's kind of tacky for me, though. Wait, wait, having a photographer already, like, pre planned? Yeah, the, but I know that's a girl thing, but if a guy does it, That's a girl like, thing, bro. On, if a guy does it, bro, he's going to get divorced. But I know there's guys that yeah. do it, though. No. Yes. Oh. I, I'm working with the guy, though. That's how I want it to be perfect. I'm all, this guy's talking like he's a chick, bro. No such thing See, is perfect, I've never, Okay, so it's funny because for me, like, growing up, I feel like girls, you know, they, they talk about weddings. But guys never, never like, I want my wedding to be like, you know, I don't know. Like, I feel like guys don't talk about, like, they, they don't dream about the perfect wedding, you know. Like, I can't wait. I'm going to come you know? down like, in a yeah, helicopter yeah. on a cliff. I don't know, man. I remember, I remember that's a millennial thing where it's just like, you know, like, no, that's not a millennial. generation Y. I don't know, man. I, I wasn't, like, for me, I was like. You know, I didn't think of. I thought married like when I'm in my 30s, bro. Yeah. You know. Damn. And and I, I got married at an early age, and um, it's just to me, I I grew up with my wife, bro. Yeah, that's good. You guys are fucking like, since our, high school, right? Our 20s after high school. Yeah. Okay. So after yeah, right after, literally right after high school, like in ninety, like ninety eight, I graduated ninety five. Like so took some time off, chilled, yeah. but. To our 20s, our 30s, our 40s, we're just growing up. That's so good. That's dude. crazy. That's romantic, bro. That's man. Cool. That's yeah. your best friend, bro. Hell yeah, dude. But but I, I think, like I said earlier, like a man, you got you, we're not ready, bro, for that. I think we're not thinking about it. We're thinking about more like getting drunk and just try to figure out life, you know? Because yeah. un, and unless you went to college and you you're fucking really have a a plan, but if you didn't go to college, like fucking, you gotta do is work. Shit, even those fools don't. You gotta have go a work. Plan. Even if you work, you don't have a plan, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it, it's just a tough thing as as a. I think as a man, you know, I think men get we get a lot of pressure. Yeah. The pressure is like, the pressure to get married already is a lot of pressure. The, the pressure if to get married. You don't want to do it by yourself. The pressure to get married. Um, uh, kids. Oh, I want a kid. Like fuck, I don't want a kid yet. Yeah. To have a kid, to have well, a second so, kid, or even um anything in life, you know, like oh, I want this big old thing. Oh fuck, that costs money, you know. But also, everything is yeah. ex expensive, and it's just all the pressure you have as a man. And I also, think. women they have they're on a bio biological clock where they gotta have a baby sooner I than think you. So, right? No, uh, my grandma had one at fifty five. Really? Really? Shut the fuck up! Sure. No way. My, my tia Arnulfo, dog. I know. I believe that. Fifty five years old, bro. I had another uh, an aunt. Bro. My 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 dad's aunt, la tia Juana, had a baby at fifty five. Shut Juana, bro. Up. And then she had no TV, bro. Tia Juana didn't have. Teeth, but she had a baby, bro. God, wait. She went to Mexico. She and had all, teeth, but she had a baby. Nah, she's missing like two or three. Two or three? 
No, she's missing like two or three molars. 55, but she, she went to she Mexico. She kinky shit, bro. <laughs> uh, that's where she put the squeeze on. Hey, uh, so she spot, went to bro. Mexico and uh, people were going, no, that's your daughter's baby. You're just covering for her. She's like, no, nah, this is my baby. It oh, came out fuck, of me. Bro. That's her brother. Like, no, I'm not covering. If she was pregnant, I don't care. She, well, I'll let her ever, everybody know she's I pregnant. think back in those days, it was, like, it was normal. No, no, I think what happened is just like. is like normal, no, bro. She, there's like, no this, pollution. There's a, there. gap, there's a gap. There's a 17-year-old gap between one of her kids and uh, my mom's brother. I think there was like an 11-year-old gap. No way. I just said they, they, they shot a load, and that load cut. The egg and fertilize the it. last one, egg. One out yeah, of a million. That, that little fool was just sitting there in the corner the whole time. Fucking <laughs> like Juan, bro. Bam. Yeah, Juan right there in the corner. Huh? 55. <laughs> 55. That's what I'm saying. Like, Híjole, way. That's. But then there's women that are like bro. in their 30s or like they can't conceive ever. Like I got a couple friends that are dealing with that right now. You know, it's funny. Um, my 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 sister, she couldn't have. Um, she had a. a she was married previous, and um, they couldn't have any kids, and then um, she adopted three. She wanted a family so bad, and you know she wanted to be a mother so bad, and uh, she had uh, she adopted three kids, and then um, she got knocked up, bro. Huh. By, her new, by another her new dude, husband. yeah, new husband. Oh, she the got, new husband. So yeah. it's the old husband's problem. I don't know, bro. Well, see, that's what I was asked. like, dude. Like my uh, like I was like, dude, we're like we. Uh... <laughs> you, you're, 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 no, because no, I was no. We, it's not that we were trying. Uh, uh, there was a point where like we came like you know. Um, they're like, oh, what's wrong? And they're like, we thought it was her. I'm all, what? It's, it's this bitch, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, you know, it's, you're in your head. You're all like this. And they're all, so they do a dye test. And she came back cool. And they're like, to me, they're like, so we need a sample from you? I was like, you need a sample from me. You some, right. We have some web on it, and, 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 and that fucks up, bro. But so, see, that's that's going back to like divorce. That fucks up even so uh, we, a man too, right? So we went over. No, just check men, this out. You know how kids. we have lights in here? It was way more lit up in that room that they told me to give the sample to. You checked, and I had, had to put what, the sample through like a thing. What were you thinking and, of when you checked up, bro? Nothing. So they gave Bear me a porno. Bro. They gave oh, me yeah. a porno. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind it, bro. Rewind what do you mean it. Rewind me. They put me in a room. They put you. They didn't like tie me down or nothing. I yeah. Had, you fucking stroked it. They, yeah. Well, I, I thought <laughs> they're, they're filming this shit for some type of like sick. Like experiment. Oh no shit! And so I'm like over here, like I'm getting on. I'm, I'm looking at there's cameras. Did you Did even you magazine at least? You should have covered the fucking yeah, camera. video. A DVD. That's how old it was. What was the video? Those it was like what? some chick that like fucking looked like Farrah Fawcett and shit, but with bigger <laughs> teeth. And long ass titties, dude. but I like long ass titties. <laughs> so it worked. <laughs> so, but it was weird because, like, dude, I'm over there trying, but it was lit up, and I was like, dude, me, dude, I gotta like, I gotta dim the lights, I gotta unplug the lava lamp, no. I gotta put like some Yanni in the background, something romantic. Bro. <laughs> like, and then, like, you know, I put on a glove with the left hand, and you know, Michael, shit. I got romance, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah uh, exactly, yeah. I can't just be jacking off like in the woods, bro. I don't know do shit like that. You're not an animal, bro. Nah, bro, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> I fucking put on a hat like I put on a hat like like Lincoln. You put the tie, bro. I emancipate the dick, you know. So, so I'm trying, and it's like I can't, bro. And then they give me like a 1980 porno. It's like, oh my god, yeah, yeah, like this lady it. had a bush. It was that big. I was like, dude, like I need a weed whacker, bro. <laughs> so then I, dude, I gave him. It was like in the shot glass, bro. It was like you know when they try to get the snake and they try to get the venom out yeah. with the paint? It was like that, dude. I had like seven drops of that. What? Like, bro, it was like they cut me with a big-ass knife, but only three do droplets of blood came out. And how'd it come out? No, so then they come back. And Were you sober? Yeah. And then That's why, so, bro. So then they're all like, dude, you got a low sperm count. I was like, what? No way. And then she's like, oh, I need you to be honest with me. I was like, what? Oh. Have I been lying to you the whole time? Is this yours or the one? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, so what else do you do? Do you drink? I'm on a little bit. He's like, do you smoke? Like, what do you smoke? And I told him, he's like, yeah, you got to cut that out, man. Like, Wait, wait, wait. Because you had a low sperm count? Yeah, he's saying you can't be smoking buzz, you can't be drinking. That causes yeah. fucking he's all, you no have way. To, you have to lose weight. And then I was thinking about, like, dude, I know, like, a dude that's like a thousand pounds that just got his lady pregnant, dude. I was yeah. like, how uh, do you do that? The it's mailman, a, bro. One out, of, one out of a million, right? The I guess, yeah. Sperm count. So then, like, whatever. And then, like, we're going to, like, oh, I guess we're going to have to go to, to go get classes. And then, like, you know, I guess it's, like, 70 grand to do that, like, whole thing, uh, with uh, in 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 vitro and all that shit. Oh, so then man. we was like, well, I don't know about all that, bro. I mean, I could maybe like put it on for forty grand, maybe oh, like, break it up into payments. Damn, bro. No. I was like, dude, I'm not gonna be doing all this shit. 
So then one night, like, we just, like, you know, got drunk, and the rest is history, bro. Damn, bro. You know what's funny? So, like, That's crazy. So, with my uh, ex, uh, what's it called? We never, you know, uh, I remember one time I just, like, accidentally, like, you know, blasted in there. And then How do you accidentally blast? It, you knew, bro. Yeah, like, I accidentally did a drive-by. Okay, so okay, so this one time, wait, were you fucked up? A reluctant. No, so this one time, Over. okay, true story. So I remember we were doing it right, and and, and it was so good. I was like, this is, and I finished. It. This is so good. Like, the, the, what kind of condom is this? I pulled down the the con. I guess I had the condom in my wallet for a long time, and there's oh. a hole. You know, like no one yeah, fucking felt policy. good. And then we waited. Nothing happened. I was like, all right. So I kept, you know, I just kept finishing. You know, nothing happened. Nothing ever happened. And I was just thinking, like, I don't know, maybe like. I'm, it's me or maybe it's her. We broke up and then oh. she and then she got pregnant. And I was like, thinking, is it me? But what if it's your kid? No, 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 but no, no, what no, I no, heard no, is no, right up and down, bro. No, like, but like that, that cum was like against the little wall right there in the it was just hiding. And, crap, and then like it just crept out and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> But I heard I just people, look at this little kid. But I heard different stories. Like it's just like that. Some people are just compatible with like other different, you know, organs. No, I and then think with my with my girl now, you know, it's happened where she's gotten two times, but then you know, she's lost the. Oh. She's been you know like pregnant for like a couple months, and now you know now I'm like you know what fuck it. we're but like you know fuck it we have one we have one you know like we're in our fucking yeah. mid thir- mid thirties now I guess yeah I'm like fuck it you know like oh. every look at pasa you know it'll happen when you least expect it bro yeah, well, yeah. You know what? think that's, about it that's where it's at but now that we're trying it's just like it's like. Like she gets her pair. I'm like, I mean, let's just pretend we don't want to try. You know, I don't know. Do it when you're fucked up, bro. Because I, th- I think a lot, yeah, a lot of it is once you get out. in your head that oh, we're, like, never, that yeah. you're, you're killing yourself. It is. You just have to like let everything just go, let it, bro. Let it, yeah. let the cards like it's play, weird because I don't, I don't ever go to parties or any of this shit or hang out like very rare. And I went to a party this weekend with like people I really didn't know. And it's the first time in a long time that like I didn't think about the shit that I think about every day because I was. Kids? In a different set- setting. No, no, just this stuff in my mind. So it's like, <clears throat> like it was really relaxing, and just you know, oh, like, huh? That's cool. Yeah, and it's a, it's a trip. But one thing I was gonna say, like, I, I know we ran over um, Jimmy, and he has told his marriage stories and all that. So I know, bro. Let's uh, let's, let's let's dig in. Sorry, uh, bro. Your experiences and how you got married and why you Say got it, bro. married. Let's do it. And what's happening, bro? And who forced you? And who who forced you, bro? bro? Is your brother-in-law, bro? Ah, oh, man, no, no. Your mother-in-law, bro? <laughs> no. I love Swagado, her, man. bro. <laughs> no, Dick. Nobody made us get married. Uh, they tried. They definitely tried. No, like, hey. what do they say? <laughs> hey, with a gun, you better get married. Uh, pretty much, bro. They sat us down. It was like a like a two on two meeting. Mira, man, it, was funny, it was like, oh, my parents want to talk to you because she was already pregnant. You know. Yeah. Like, hell yeah, bro. My parents want to talk to you. And that's and gonna I, fuck you up right now. Looked at the house, house, and they were sitting like across from the table. And then I sat, we sat together, but then she moved, and I was like, fuck. Oh. Like, wait, 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 um, Cause I would tell even if I was gonna say no, I'll go yeah I'm gonna get married and I leave. Fuck that. <laughs> That's how I am. Cause I'll be yeah yeah I'm a mean agreeer. Yeah. Oh, but after bro. I'm gone, I'm like fuck it. I told him <laughs> I told him no I'm not and we're not gonna get married just because we're having a kid and they were yeah they got red. They were, Shut up. Oh. Both of them or just a dad? No both of them. Oh, oh damn, bro. he was you know he had a stroke so he couldn't really move at the time. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh dude. bad timing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if, he could have, if he could have, he probably would have killed me. Bro. Yeah. Oh, shut God. up, bro. Bro, the table, bro, He looked oh. like the Mexican John Wayne. He was huge. What the fuck? 6'4". Fuck, he's an anomaly, bro. Um, so he was just like, motherfucker. Oh. You're lying, bro. Yeah. Where was she at when this was going down? Hiding in the room under her desk? <laughs> yeah. She was in the corner of the room just kind of like, oh, she's afraid of her it. parents, huh? <laughs> uh, and so I told him, like, look, we're going to stay stories. together. We're going to, you know, and if we get married, we'll get married. It'll be later. Don't worry. Yeah. Then they were kind of like, okay, whatever. And we got married five years later. So later. Nice, bro. How were your parents about it? Like, what did they tell you? Are, are they more, like, liberal in the leanings, too? Or they're like, hey, dude, get your married, like, grow up already. No, bro, my parents are super conservative. Yeah. Really to the core? Super con- they're yeah, they're super conservative. And no, they were kinda like, Well, if you're happy, we're happy. So yeah. right? but I knew oh, yeah. they weren't happy. They were like, mm, fucking jump me. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, even in houses, I don't know how it was in your house. I wanted a white girl. Because <laughs> in my house, my sister was the oldest, but after she left the house and, like, ran away, like, took off with her man, like, that's when it was open game. We didn't give a fuck. Oh, like, we ate, at the, we ate at the living room now. Like, rules were broken. <laughs> Drinking bro. soda. Yeah, yeah, we didn't even care. Like, you got to mow the lawn. Fuck you. Have her boyfriend mow the lawn. <clears throat> ah, she left. Oh. Remember, like, it was, like, wild no. after that. Like, I, I stayed up all night now. Like, we didn't care, bro. Because remember when you're young, you know, your parents are, like, very straight. Like, you know, you can't drink soda. 
yeah, yeah, this and that. And later on, you're like, they don't give a fuck, you know? Like, <laughs> no. Staying up till fucking three in the morning in my high school years. I remember, yeah. <laughs> that was so funny, dude. And where did you get married at? Did you get married by the church? Okay, so, yeah. I took all sacraments to get to become Catholic at 29 years old. Oh, so you weren't even Catholic at all? Catholic. Oh, damn. You changed. So they wanted you guys to get married through the church? Well, I kind of, you know, I want to go to heaven, so I kind of. <laughs> 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 and like, uh, all dogs go to heaven. Ready Bros Podcast.